Hey my friends, this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. <laughs> I know, I don't sound uh, very healthy today. I'm going to try not to cough and all that craziness <clears throat> that I'm feeling. I'm going to do my best. But if I do, uh, I will stop the video. <clears throat> the question is, Goals on and off the scale. What goals did you set in 2013? Of those, what did you get completed? How did those accomplishments impact your journey this year? Will you be setting new goals for 2014? Okay. Goals on and off the scale. <clears throat> Again, I, you guys have heard me say it a hundred times. I'm almost 10 years out. I think the only goal that I really set every year is that I want to keep moving. I want to be able to just keep moving, keep my body doing what it's supposed to do. What has been me is the consistency. I think consistency is, is an amazing tool that <clears throat> we can pull out at any moment. Being able to be consistent, um, you know, Yes, uh, there's days that I cannot, like like this week has been a really bad week for me <clears throat> to exercise. But my food's been on track because I am sick, you know. Um, instead of doing, there's a, a saying, in, instead of doing nothing because I'm overwhelmed today, I will do something even if it is small. Because it will be one step closer to my goal. But there's always a plan, right? There was a plan at the beginning of uh, when I had a gastric bypass. There was a plan for me. And the plan was to be consistent. To be consistent. Not, not you know, I was 487 pounds. If I ever reached to where I am today, 165, 170, um then that was going to be a triumph for me because I started at such a high number. So to be consistent and do it every day and just, just be the best that I could be, was that was the plan for me. I get up in the morning and I know what I'm going to eat. I get up in the morning I know what exercise I'm going to do. And I think that a goal without a plan is just a wish, right? I'm not going to wish it. I've got to have a plan. And I think that for us, uh, to answer the question, what goals did you, did you set in 2013? Only not to gain weight, to, to keep moving. Uh, that, was my, that was my goals, to keep moving, to keep doing what I do. <clears throat> of those, what did you get completed? I completed them. Um, there was bumps in the road this year with menopause and, and other issues, but I'm still being consistent with the plan for my life. I always wanted to reach uh, 130. <clears throat> That's a number. That's just a number. But my plan is to live life. My plan is to live life to the fullest, to be consistent with my journey. Um, that's the the number is just that it's a number but if i never reach it i know that i've lived life i know that i've done everything i could and can to get there i just try i just try and be a better rosemary every year that's all i'm trying to do that's all i i want to do <clears throat> i'm not stuck at 487 pounds without being uh, with, without doing what I want to do. I, I'm, not, I'm no longer there. I'm here now. This is me today. The mobile Rosemary. The, the Rosemary that uh, wanted to be able to do all the things that she does now. And for me, my plan is, compl my plan is to continue to do that, to be consistent in that. <laughs> uh, if I get to 130, woohoo! Pray to God that I stay there, right? But for now, it's consistency. My plan is to be consistent with what I do every day to get me to live in my life 
full of uh, all the things that I just only dreamed about before. I don't wish it anymore. I live it now. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> to live life to the fullest. To embrace every day. To have that journey, f for me, of just living and breathing life. I love you guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Go out and be the best you that you can be. And don't worry about anything else. See you next Sunday.